Hello, Green Wave fans. My name's Alan Fry, and I'm in my seventh season as an assistant coach with the Tulane University women's basketball team. I am from New Orleans and graduated from the University of New Orleans in 1988. So I definitely have a non-traditional career um, from a basketball coaching standpoint. Um, I was in nonprofit fundraising for almost 20 years and did club basketball uh, with the Kenner Angels locally and, and some other outfits. And, uh, um, Definitely enjoyed that time, but but also really appreciate the opportunity to be here on the college level. As an assistant coach in college basketball, the number one thing is recruiting. I think the number two and number three things are probably recruiting also. Um, but beyond that, um, I think I've probably been more our person who is um, our self-study guy, like looking at what we do, both individually, our players, and as a team, and, and figuring out what we can do better. And uh, and I'm also re responsible for our schedule. Those are probably my main main uh, areas of responsibility here. I certainly wanted to be in basketball for a living. Um, it, I'd say two things. Number one, being having the opportunity to, to coach basketball for a living. And second, working for Lisa Stockton. Um, as an AAU coach, I had the opportunity to have my players play for all sorts of college coaches around, and um, and most of the ones who had played for Lisa were among the happiest. Um, so having that opportunity to, to work for Lisa in college basketball was was a real special opportunity for me. Well, it certainly would be my fondest memory would certainly be winning a conference tournament and going to the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, among many good ones, but that that would definitely be the fondest. I mean, it's a lot of special moments. My, my first game here was, was really important to me. I mean, somebody at my age to be, you know, on that, on that level. Um, actually, one of my former AAU players was on the other team um, for Stephen F. Austin that night. So, uh, you know, that was, that was just an interesting dynamic for me. Um, you know, and, and really during my career here, we have played against some of my former players. Now I've been here so long that that, won't, that probably won't ever happen again. But, um, but it did happen, you know, in my first few years here. Well, there's so many good things about living in New Orleans, um, but I, I just think there's a, there's just an atmosphere and attitude in this city that um, that I really embrace, and um, and and we embrace that when we recruit kids um, to come to Tulane. You know, um, the fact that I've lived here my whole life I think is an advantage uh, when parents um, are looking to see if this is the right place for their for their daughters to come to school. Um, you know, I mean, we could certainly talk about the food and the music and you know the uh, the social activities, the saints. Um, just all sorts of good things here in New Orleans. Yeah, I, I have a bunch of things on my plate off the court. Um, certainly, as you say, cystic fibrosis was my last employment before Tulane, and I am um, a, a very dedicated volunteer to that cause. Um, the, the, the people at the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, from the doctors all the way down to the to the volunteers that are involved, are, are making unbelievable strides toward curing that disease. And uh, and I'll be around until we we get that done. Um, I'm also a taxi driver. I have three kids who are all um, playing sports in different ways, and so um, we we you know I certainly am involved with running them to uh, to a lot of activities. That would probably be most of my off the court time, you know, done as a tra as a taxi driver.